Hi, welcome back to Elga Space. I'm Coding Chizu. Today, in this video, we'll install FZDEP, which is the fuzzy finder uh, for uh, NeoVim. Uh, it is a plugin uh, which you can install using the Vim plug. Uh, I'm gonna use Vim plug here because uh, I, I love it. Uh, that's why I use Vim plug. Uh, so, you can also use bundle, but uh, here I'm gonna use uh, Vim plug. Uh, so, I have already uh, installed the Vim plug uh, in my machine. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna install a uh, FZ uh, in my machine, uh, basically in my uh, plugin for NeoVim. Uh, so, so let's start. So to install a uh, fuzzy finder uh, for NeoVim, I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, open a init of Vim file, then I'm gonna add a uh, line to install a uh, plugin. So basically, I need to add this line uh, into the init of Vim script. So I'm gonna add it right now. So you can see that I have added the uh, init uh, into the init of Vim script. And then I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna save it and close it. Okay, I'm gonna reappoint it. Then I'm gonna do this like I'm gonna do it plug install to install the FZF plugin. Uh, I think it has installed the FZF plugin. Uh, right now, I'm gonna close it. Okay. Uh, so basically, I need to configure it. Like, uh, I can also do it like uh, escape colon FZF. Just make sure it is working fine. Oh yeah, you can see it. Uh, it has started working. Uh, it is working right now. So basically, but I'm I'm gonna configure some more like. I can. I want to make a shortcut uh, to open a uh, FZF. So for this, uh, I'm gonna reopen the init or bin file. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna map it to Control plus P. <coughs> so to do that, uh, I have uh, already added into my script. Here, you can you need to copy this script uh, and paste it here. So I have mapped the FZF command to uh, Control plus P which is like control plus p then i'm gonna save it okay right now if i press like control p then it's gonna open for me okay i think the send this should be like okay i'm gonna save it okay control p oh you need to first close it then reopen it uh, to make sure like the send this are saved to in a document file so uh yeah you can it is uh, it is a really cool thing uh, because you can do a fuzzy file search for it uh, so uh, here for demonstration I'm gonna uh, cd dot go uh, which I'm gonna send my directory one directory back uh, okay right now if I open it and beam then I'm gonna uh, do a con I'm gonna press control P to open fzf you can see it now i can search for the files i'm gonna search for uh what what do i want to search i think anything i have on my machine like i do not have so much files in this machine but you can search it like coc dot uh, you can see it it these are this is the video that's located on video slash coc uh, video is less uh, so you can see that these are in my download directory okay you can do many searches uh, as much as you want uh, it is really really fast now the fuzzy finder is working that's how you, you can install a fuzzy finder it's really simple uh, Uh, if you haven't checked my previous video, make sure you check it up because I have really made a cool videos about how to set up a new Vim uh, for various and how to set, set up a uh, language server for various languages. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, you know, like those are really cool videos. Uh, I, I hope that you like it. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. 
and hit like on my videos if you like the video uh so that's all for today's video see you in the next video bye